Hey guys, this is Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. I'm here in beautiful sunny Maine. It's very bright, but I'm gonna get through that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good for my adrenals, it's waking me up, it's giving me some vitamin D, since you can get vitamin D through sight, not just through skin. Uh, and I'm getting some infrared, which is very nice. It's helping my blood flow and creating uh, structured water in my capillaries, so that's good. Wow, it's bright. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about something that needs to be said. There's a new study that just came out. And that's my phone alarm telling me to wake up. But I'm already awake, so that feels great. There's a new study that just came out about alcohol consumption, and it's relating to our heart. And if you've never heard what atrial fibrillation is, it's where the heart doesn't beat properly. Uh, it's, it's a problem with the valves, um, not an electrical problem, which we originally thought it was, but it's a problem with the valves. And so what they found is with alcohol, moderate alcohol consumption, so drinking once a week, uh, or even less than that, can cause a 15% chance increase in getting atrial fibrillation. So essentially, extra blood pools up in the uh, the valves and causes this problem. Now we know alcohol leads to a bunch of different types of cancer. Um, we know that it can cause or uh, increase your chances for stroke. Um, but we do know that resveratrol is good for you in wine in, in moderate amounts. Uh, or you could also take a pill of resveratrol. I'll put a link below of the one I take because I don't drink. Uh, because of the negative consequences, how it messes with your histamine, it, you have problems with sleep, it can mess up uh, your sleep, um, it can decrease your testosterone, a whole bunch of problems. But there is a benefit, they know that moderate consumption of alcohol may help with preventing heart attacks, which is nice. So that's probably a glass of wine uh, a couple nights a week. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on that and tell you guys this, this new study that came out since it's pretty uh, eye-opening that atrial fibrillation is not an electrical problem as we once thought before. Um, and another interesting thing, Jacob, Jacob Teitelbaum, uh, Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum, uh, who's big in the chronic fatigue syndrome and things like that, he found out that using D-ribose helped with atrial fibrillation. So D-ribose what it does is it enhances the energy of a muscle and since the heart is a muscle it puts more uh, gives it more time to relax in between beats so like any other muscle when it contracts that's that's when a beat happens and when it relaxes uh, it's, it's relaxed and so it has energy but when your muscle is in a spasm you're contracting too often and you uh, are using up all your energy and so you don't have the extra energy to relax and that's what happens with atrial fibrillation. So D-ribose is great for that. Um, still some pre preliminary studies on that. So if you want to learn more about D-ribose, I put um, some information in the description below. So thanks guys for watching. Stay beautiful.